Parents and children across the country have been dressing up as pirates to raise money for the Kids Cancer Project during Brain Cancer Awareness Month. Joining us live now is Patrick Fibbs, Head of Partnerships at the Kids Cancer Project. Patrick, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Can you tell us about Pirate Day that kicked off yesterday and, and what's involved? Yeah, thank you. Well, Pirate Day is an initiative that started in uh, 2014 when a family in Perth, uh, their son Connor was diagnosed with uh, brain cancer at the age of seven. And uh, Connor, after having treatments and um, some of the side effects were that he had to wear an eye patch and went into his school and they did a fundraiser from him. So the initiative originally started there and we've been handed this campaign. And now, you know, the initiative is it's an opportunity, first of all, to raise awareness for um, Brain Cancer Awareness Month, um, to dress up like a pirate, have a bit of fun, um, you know, wear an eye patch in our early learning centres we've seen have been involved, sporting um, communities, uh, our corporates also, and also raise funds for um, childhood brain cancer research, basically, to help try and find some um, better treatments for these cancers. It's such a great initiative. Can corporates get involved as well? Yeah, we've had a lot of corporates get involved. So one of our good supporters, Watso, is a um, communal workspace. They've got 18 offices around Australia which have participated in this, uh, this fundraiser. So you can go on to the website, which is pirateday.com.au and register. Um, even though the official Pirate Day was yesterday, the website will open, be open for the whole month of May and probably will keep it open if uh, donations are still coming in. And it's a good way for corporates to engage, you know, start having those connections within the office again, dress up with a bit of fun, uh, dress mm -hmm. like a pirate. It's amazing how much adults like dressing up and speaking like a pirate on the day. There is a fun <laughs> side to it. But then it also gives us an opportunity to raise the awareness for childhood brain cancer and um, it'll also generate some funds. Absolutely, and an excuse to, to dress up. But as you mentioned, it's an important day to raise funds. But is do you find that days like this really generate a lot of community support, particularly uh, around families that may be suffering with, with one of their, their children or family members being diagnosed with cancer? Yeah, it certainly is. You know, um, we get a lot of uh, people sending in their images from the day, um, messages throughout the day and the weeks actually after the event showing um, their appreciation for us highlighting some of these uh, diseases and things that are taking place, but also, you know, the support for the families. Like some of these families, we become quite close and attached to these families. Some of them currently going through these uh, these cancers with their children. Some have beaten it and some unfortunately haven't been able to survive and you become quite emotionally attached and the support um, not only that we give to them but also they generate for us. It, it's quite inspiring to see, you know, at times mm. when they're going through probably a darkest period in their lives, they're still able to get out there and help raise awareness and funds um, for some of these cures because they also, they don't want to see future uh, families have to go through what they've had to. I'm sure you've met some amazing families, some really brave children. What have you learned in your time in this role as a head of partnerships of the Cancer Project? Yeah, I, it's it's a bit of a double-edged sword for me. I've got quite a serious role with trying to generate the corporate funds um, to fund some of these research projects and you have those serious conversations. But then also I get the added benefit of becoming in contact with these families. And a lot of them are quite motivating and they kind of expi inspire me to do what I'm doing. And then you also become quite emotionally attached. Um, some of these families are some of my um, close friends now that we've been in contact with. And, you know, it, it really is inspiring to try and, um, you know, find these cures for these cancers, but also, you know, just to be around these people, it just um, helps you, it makes going into work a lot easier knowing that we're trying to fight for these, um, find these cures for these cancers. Apart from Pirate Day, how else can we support the Kids Cancer Project? Yeah, so um, you can always go onto the Kids Cancer Project website, which is thekidscancerproject.org.au. 
there's a range of opportunities to be involved. You can create your own fundraising event. Uh, we've got other campaigns. Uh, there's one in September, which is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which is a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising fitness challenge called the Better Challenge, where we ask participants to walk, run or roll 90 kilometres throughout the month of September, which will represent the 90 children be diagnosed with cancer. We're always open for corporate support. So if there's anyone, any businesses out there looking to be involved to help with their CSA, we offer, you know, any any tailored approach to a corporate partnership. And, you know, donations at the end of the day is really beneficial for the Kids Cancer Project. You know, you can go onto our website, make these donations. Um, and we'll make sure that these uh, the money coming in will go to the right areas to try and find some cures for these cancers. Patrick Fibbs, Head of Partnerships at the Kids at Cancer Project, thank you so much for your time. Terrific, and thank you for your support and help us raise awareness for Brain Cancer Awareness Month.